back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. It is Wednesday, so that means it is another What I Eat in a Day clean eating on WW. I can't wait to take you guys along with me today. Yeah, I'm gonna show you all of my food, give you the points. We're gonna talk about the ingredients and the nutrition value of the foods that we're eating. I have a couple of fun hauls for you. And of course, Diesel and Lola are going to make an appearance as well. So if you wanna see what I eat in a day on WW, clean eating, stay tuned. On the run from my given disaster. this morning's breakfast. It's similar to what I had last week, but I'm loving it. I did change it up a little bit. So I have two hard boiled eggs with a little bit of everything but the bagel seasoning for me on the blue plan. This is zero points. And then I have one of my Ezekiel seven sprouted grains, English muffins. You guys can find these in the frozen section, generally where the health food is. I get a lot of questions on that. These are four smart points for a whole English muffin or two smart points for a half, and they are so hearty and delicious and filling. So I have an entire full English muffin. And then on my food scale, I measured out 16 grams of the Kirkland Mixed Nut Butter, which is one tablespoon. This is so good, you guys. It has chia seeds and almonds and pumpkin seeds and flax and cashews. It's delicious. I love, love, love it. So I went ahead and just measured out one tablespoon of that. That is three smart points. And then I decided to top it with some strawberries to kind of do like a PB&J type of knockoff. So my entire breakfast is only seven smart points and I have a delicious English muffin, peanut butter, and an egg and it's completely clean, whole foods. So seven smart points on the blue plan. Look at my bed. It was made. It was, hi. You wanna make your appearance in my video? Say hi, Lola. Look at, see, I got my nails cut yesterday. Yes, I did. Lola, say hi. Hi, princess. And how are you, bud? You just chilling over there? You guys are always in this exact spot in all of my videos. Have you noticed? Yeah, you've noticed. I'm gonna be having a later lunch today because I am editing some videos. So I'm gonna have a snack. This is one of the homemade clean eating granola bars that I made in meal prep. You guys, these are killer. These are so good. There's mixed nut butter and honey and currants and craisins and cherries and all the goodness. And these are incredible. So I do not count the dried fruit other than the craisins because they do have added sugar. So for me, this is three smart points on the blue and green plan and two on the purple plan. Down in the description box of the meal prep video that was posted on Monday, I gave you the points if you are going to be counting the dried fruit. So this is going to be a three smart point snack. I want to show you guys, I ordered some more Yvette sportswear. You guys know I love this line. Quality is so good and the prices are extremely, extremely affordable. So I ordered three more sports bras and a pair of leggings, but you guys have to see these. This is the Sculpt Sexy Razorback. And look, here there is this little piece of material that just makes it so cute. That lays just nicely over your chest. And then it has this cute little peekaboo cut out. And then the back of this bra, I love as well. Look at this kind of ruching that it has with that same thin material. And then it has the bra clasp. And I really like this because you can adjust it as you lose weight, which is a really nice feature. And they do have these nice thick straps, which is great for those of us with a little bit larger bust, or if you're doing a high impact workout. And then they always have their logo somewhere, which is so cute. So again, this 
this is the Sculpt Sexy Razorback. You guys, the sports bra is $24.99 before any discount. And my discount code here on the screen will get you an extra 15% off. I'll leave that here for you guys on the screen. And it is down in the description box as well. But I love this one. It is so cute. And this one is for high impact workouts, which is exactly what I do at Jazzercise. I also got another one of my favorite bra. This is the Power Back. I love this one so much. It has this breathable mesh here in the middle. So when you're really working hard, like I do at Jazzercise, it allows a little bit of breathability. Cute little Yvette logo. This is kind of a baby blue color. And I just love the back of this bra. It does have that really pretty kind of strappy look to it. And again, it has the bra clasp. This one is one of my favorites because I really like the way that the straps look on your back but also the support is incredible and they do have lined cups so this is a great one if you do have a high impact workout it just really helps wick up all of the sweat especially with the extra breathability this honestly is one of my favorite bras this bra is $26.99 and comes in five colors so if you're looking for a great sports bra this one is awesome I again the oh I was going to show you guys this this is another thing I love about this bar bra it does have the double shoulder so do you see how it has the double straps that just helps prevent it from slipping off so the worst thing ever is when you're exercising and your sports bra starts to slip down so love 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 the power back i have this in maroon and black and now in this pretty baby blue and the third one i got is a new one for me i actually haven't tried this one i love their logo along the band it's so cute i like this maroon and white kind of detail of color it's so pretty it does have molded cups which is great this is a high impact sports bra it is your basic sports bra look except it does still have the bra clasp which is awesome it still has the opening kind of the peekaboo for breathability in the back and then your straps have that nice razorback design and do you guys see that that's mesh so i love that they do have these mesh details and then these little cutouts because these really breathe so nicely but hold everything in when you're working out so this again is the shift light razorback icon this is 32.99 and then my code of course gets you an extra 15 percent off and lastly, I had to pick up another pair of my favorite leggings. These are shrink a size. Literally, these suck everything in. These are the Shift Light High Waist Leggings. They come in four colors. This is kind of the dark gray. What I love about these, I just think they're so cute. But look at the seam where it sits on your skin. There's no seam. So it doesn't cut into your leg when you're trying to work out. They literally, no lie, suck everything in because they have have this incredibly high waist so this really high waist again just sucks everything in I have these in the pink and in the light gray so this is the dark gray which is the next color that I just had to pick up I just love 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 these leggings so if you want a pair of leggings that stay up when you work out suck it all in for $21.99 you guys that's it plus 15% off with my code you can get these leggings so highly recommend you guys know I love Yvette and I love their leggings all right so here's my lunch for today it's a little after one a little bit late lunch for me but I was busy editing I'm so excited for my lunch so I made a quesadilla and what I used was one of my La Tortilla Factory low carb whole wheat tortillas. These are super good. They're huge. They're a little bigger, I'd say, or similar in size to the Olay wraps. They have great ingredients. They're organic, non-GMO verified, two smart points per, per tortilla. In there, I have one serving of the Trader Joe's organic turkey breast for zero. And then I have one quarter of a cup of the Great Value organic shredded mozzarella for two smart points. And that's what's inside my quesadilla. And I topped it with this. It's so good. This is the Honest Stand in Plants We Trust Dairy-Free Mild Nacho Dip. This is a plant-based dip. It tastes like queso. Literally tastes like queso. But it has great ingredients. So you can have two tablespoons for one smart point. So that's what I topped my quesadilla with. And then I chopped up a gala apple and I have 13 of my Simple Mills fine ground sea salt almond flour crackers. These are really, really good. You can have 13 of these for three smart points. So I have those. So my lunch is two for the shell 
or the tortilla. Two for the cheese makes four. One for the nacho dip makes five because the turkey breast is zero. The apple is zero and then three smart points for my crackers. So this is an eight smart point lunch. Finally stopped raining. So she went out. Diesel's way out there somewhere, but it's finally not raining anymore today. Hi. Are you happy it's not raining? Oh, Lola, look what's right here. Hey, your baby. Get your babies right here. Is that your baby? <gasps> Hi, honey. Oh, you're so cute. For an afternoon snack, I'm making it simple. We're having some friends over for dinner tonight. So I just was getting ready to go and figure out what I'm going to do for dinner tonight for them. So I'm going to have six of these organic crispy coconut rolls. These are so delicious, you guys. Here's what they look like. And here's one here so I can show you kind of the perspective in my hand. I'm going to have six of these and it's five smart points and or seven of them. I'm sorry, is five smart points. Here is the nutritional information. If you have 10 of them, it is seven smart points. So I just knocked down the number that I had so I could have five points worth. That leaves me 10 points for dinner and the rest of the evening. So here are the ingredients, wonderful, perfect ingredients. These are gluten-free, vegetarian, paleo, non-GMO verified and organic. And again, I picked these up at Costco. So that's gonna be my afternoon snack along with some water. This is what happens when daddy's on his way home. Yeah, I know, he's in the garage, he's coming. Tell him to hurry. Say hurry up, it's time. We're waiting. And we're not very patient. There he is, everyone. Oh yeah, tell him. So we have some friends coming over for dinner tonight, kind of last minute. So I'm gonna make what I had planned for dinner and that is a skillet balsamic glazed chicken and potatoes. This is a one pot recipe, so that's amazing. And then I'm also gonna roast up some Brussels sprouts to go with dinner. I might chop up some onion too and throw those into the oven. So first, let me show you what is in the balsamic chicken and potatoes. First, you'll need potatoes. I'm just using these organic reds, minced garlic, balsamic vinegar, two types of mustard, Dijon and stone ground. This is my avocado oil, honey, cayenne pepper and rosemary, and then of course some chicken. So let's get the chicken marinating while we're waiting for our friends. So the first thing we need to do is make the marinade for the chicken. So I went ahead and removed all the visible fat, cut the chicken thin sliced, and that's plenty for all of us and leftovers. So in my bowl here, I have one half of a cup of the Trader Joe's balsamic vinegar. If you guys have a Trader Joe's, it is the best balsamic and it is extremely affordable, highly recommend. And then I weighed out on my food scale, two tablespoons of the unfiltered, organic, amazingly delicious raw honey. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. And then we're going to put in about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And I'm just gonna kind of eyeball that. So this has quite a bit of mustard, I think, which is what's gonna give it a yummy tang with the sweetness of the honey. And then also we're gonna be using about a tablespoon of the stone ground mustard as well. Ooh, yum. And then we are gonna add a little bit of cayenne. Neither myself or my husband really like a lot of spice, so I don't want it to be too incredibly spicy. And then I'm going to put in three cloves of garlic. So there's that. And then we're just gonna give this a stir. We wanna make sure that everything gets combined. That honey, the raw honey is really, really thick as you saw. So you wanna just stir it enough that that honey kind of dissolves in with the balsamic and all of the mustard and spices. So in a large Ziploc bag, I'm gonna put in about half of the marinade. We want to reserve the other half for the cooking process. So we just want half of it to actually marinate our chicken in. So that looks like about half of the marinade. And then to the bag here, we're gonna go ahead and add in our chicken. And we're gonna shake it up, get it nice and coated in that yummy marinade. And then this is going to go into the fridge for about 30 minutes. It just needs about 30 minutes or so to marinate before we make the dinner. 
While the chicken's marinating, I went ahead and washed some baby reds here. We need about two cups quartered. And then I also have the organic Brussels sprouts that I picked up at Trader Joe's. These are amazing. I'm just going to chop off the stem of those. I'm gonna to toss them here in a bowl and then we'll get them all seasoned up when we're ready to cook down the chicken. Funny how the story goes, little hope of bigger dreams. Down, singing louder than the crowd. chopped up the potatoes oh, there we go and the brussels sprouts and to my bowl here i'm going to add about a tablespoon of avocado oil maybe a little bit more than that mine comes out so slow which is actually a good thing on weight watchers that way i don't overdo the oil and then i'm just going to give that a quick toss before i add some salt and pepper and some rosemary because i want to make sure that my potatoes here on the bottom get that little bit of avocado of oil on them as well and I will let you guys know as I'm kind of tossing these around that I'm going to cook the potatoes and the Brussels sprouts separately on a sheet pan because I want to roast them I want to roast the potatoes and the Brussels sprouts the original recipe wants you to actually add the potatoes to the balsamic chicken and I'm gonna cook them separately just because of the fact that I want them roasted so to that I'm going to add some rosemary and I am going to put quite a bit of rosemary that is is the main seasoning here on our potatoes and Brussels sprouts. This rosemary grinder, whenever I use it, I get a ton of questions. It is from Walmart. It's actually a Sam's Choice brand. And what I like about it is when you grind your rosemary fresh, it seems to have a little bit better flavor. Although it's dried in the container, you're actually grinding it up and releasing those flavors when you're going to use it rather than it sitting in a spice jar. So I really do like that about the rosemary grinder I wish that they made other spices in those same types of grinders so there is that with the rosemary and then I'm also going to add a couple of good sized pinches of salt and pepper only because I'm roasting these separately so they're just not going to get the flavor that the chicken and things are going to get there in the pan so I'm going to add that and then the last thing I'm going to add to my potatoes and my Brussels sprouts is a tiny bit of the marinade because they would have went in the pan with the marinade and the chicken. So I'm going to do about three tablespoons of the marinade as well. Give that a quick stir. And then I'm just going to cover this with some saran wrap and throw it in the refrigerator while our chicken continues to marinate. So I decided instead of throwing these in the refrigerator, I'm just going to go ahead and put them directly here on my sheet pan where they're going to be roasted. And that way they're ready to go into the oven when I'm ready to put them in the oven instead of having to pull them back out of the refrigerator. I find whenever I have guests over for dinner, if I do a lot of this type of a prep work first, then I can visit and enjoy my guests a little bit more while still continuing to make dinner for us. So there are the potatoes and the Brussels sprouts. They look so good. So again, now I'm going to set these aside in the refrigerator until we're ready to put them into the oven. So in my pan here, I have the other tablespoon of avocado oil. I have it warming up. I also have the leftover of the marinade and I just pulled out the chicken. So I'm going to go ahead and put the chicken pieces into the warm oil and slowly let those cook so they stay nice and tender. So there's the chicken. It's in the pan ready to go. Once it gets a little warmer and starts cooking, I'm going to go ahead and add on top the rest of the glaze and then my oven is warming up so that I can throw in my potatoes and Brussels sprouts. So now we're going to go ahead and add the last of the marinade just kind of right over the top of our chicken and we're going to let it cook until the chicken is cooked completely through. So the balsamic chicken is done. I just turned it down to low. I'm just going to let it kind of simmer here while the potatoes and Brussels sprouts cook and here they are. They're looking really good as well. So we should be perfect timing for them to come over. So here is the chicken. It is all done. It looks really, really good. And then over here is the potatoes and roasted Brussels sprouts. So that is dinner. What's it like to be the one that he turns to when he sort of answers? What's it like? For dessert, I'm going to have one of my dark chocolate with real wild main blueberry squares from Costco. These are super good. Here's kind of what they look like. And then here's an actual square. So 
that's the size of it. I would say it's probably an inch by an inch, I'd say, in size. But look at the bottom. It has all these yummy blueberries. They're really, really good. So that's going to be a two smart point dessert. Thank you for joining me on another What I Eat in a Day to Lose Weight on WW following a clean eating lifestyle. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the recipes that I shared with you today. And also the recipe for dinner is down in the description box below. So make sure you check that out. Also in the description box are the links and discount codes to some of my favorite things, as well as the link to head on over and join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you. We have over 14,000 members. It's such a great, fun, and safe place to be and ask your questions. So head on over and join us there. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the little bell so you're notified whenever a new video is uploaded. You don't want to miss a single one. Thumbs up this video if you love what I eat in a day. And comment down below. Let me know are you going to give this week's dinner recipe a try. And of course, if you have any questions on the other food that I shared with you. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.